The Tale of Peter Rabbit by Beatrix Potter. So we just read this in class, and uh, we're going to paint this scene here where poor Peter is trying to get out of McGregor's garden, and he sees the path ahead of him is blocked by the gardener, but he sees that beyond McGregor is the fence, and underneath the fence is a hole that he can escape from. He just needs to be sneaky about it and get past uh, the gardener. So this is the scene we're going to paint, and let's get into it. So first what I'm going to do is sketch out uh, just the the rabbit um, with my stick crayon. You can use a dark any dark color here. I'm going to go with black because it'll be easier to see uh, once we paint over it. So copy what I'm doing here with the, this is Peter Rabbit, first his body, then his uh, back legs and his front legs. They should be at an angle so you can see that he's running very fast. And then sort of a triangle shaped head. Pointy ears. And I'm outlining the path that's going to be surrounded on both sides by the garden. And there's Mr. McGregor. There's his head, his body. Since he's running, make sure to make his legs in this shape where his knees are bent to show that he's running. Same with his arms. We're going to be doing arms and legs at this angle. One arm pointing up, one pointing down. The arm pointing up is going to be holding the rake. So that's it for our sketch. Oh, the hat. Almost can't forget his gardening hat. So the rest is going to be painting. And we're going to be mixing up some green using a new tool today. This is a dropper, plastic dropper and just squeezing out some blue. And before we squeeze out some yellow, rinse it out in the cup. About a quarter full drop, dropper of yellow. And then we're gonna stir that up. Notice after each time I'm cleaning the dropper so that we keep our paints separate in the jars. I'm going to use the back of the skinny brush to stir it up. It's fine to do this as long as you clean it off afterward with the paper towel. So I'm starting with the sky. We don't need to do wet on wet today. Let's try keeping our paper dry. I don't mind leaving some white spaces that could be clouds.
cleaning off the brush, I'm now going to go to our green. And just like we did in, in the last video, we're going to be creating plants by pressing the brush against the page. Not dragging it back and forth, just pressing it up and down to create the image of some plants and grasses and vegetables in his garden. Adding some yellow to the plants. I'm going to bring the yellow all the way up into the sky. This is going to be the tops of our trees. In a minute we're going to do trees behind the layer of plants. So now switching to the skinny brush. I'm going to paint the fence. Keeping the brush kind of sideways on the thin side. Keep those lines nice and thin. I want the fence to be kind of a orangish brown. And now I'm doing the trunks of our trees that I mentioned. Starting with red, but then we'll go over that with some other colors to create a brown. Maybe some gray. See if we can get a brown by mixing right on the page here. And I just wanted to paint a little opening underneath the fence to remind us that Peter Rabbit is going to make his escape. And if you want, you can add some more details to the path. You can go over that yellow with some gray or even some more blue. It's up to you. I realized that I had too much white space and I'm just bringing up those plants a little higher.
I also realized at this point that I wanted my sky to come down a little further. It looked a little weird as it is. So I'm going to go back into my blue and just bring the sky down. As long as my trees are dry, you can actually go over that with another layer. And that's pretty much it.